my name is Jordan Leach, and today I'm going to be reviewing and talking about a rebuttal argument made by Bonnie Steinbach, and it is called the intentional termination of life. So the central claim of Steinbach's article is that she believes that there shall be a fine line between ordinary and extraordinary care of one's life, and that quick death is preferably a better option than one who suffers. And throughout reading Steinbach's article, I briefly noticed that her definitions of what ordinary and extraordinary care aren't really definitions, they're more like just examples. So I'm going to be going a little bit more in depth about what these mean exactly. And her central claim is just talked about briefly towards the beginning and scattered around through the article and you'll see a little bit more about what I mean by quick death is preferably a better option than one who suffers. So ordinary and extraordinary care are two opposites of each other and ordinary care is one that offers hope and relief to those affected with uses of treatment and or medicine and this care can also turn into extraordinary care further on. And what I mean by this is like ordinary care is typically um, the most common type of care that you'll see if you're a patient and you go into like a hospital or a treatment center. This is typically the most common care that you'll see because doctors and whoever's representing the patient will give the patient like the best options and the best hope and if something's like unreasonable to save the patient's life then this is what extraordinary care would be it's care that does not give reasonable hope for those affected and treatment or medicine cannot be reasonable to use now every situation of a patient coming in um, for care is different and in certain circumstances there could be a patient who just doesn't have enough um, let's say like cells to survive based off of like cancer and so if this were the situation the doctor would essentially say there's like nothing we can do or there's not treatment or medicine that we can use to help you prolong your life or to help you survive. So these two types of care are just essentially opposites of each other and they each take place within different situations. On the treatment morals, the main purpose of saving or ending one's life based upon circumstances can carry a heavy opinion and moral on people. In certain circumstances, it is vital to discontinue treatment rather than carrying on a surviving prolonged life. Ending treatment is not a result and main purpose of wanting to terminate a life, and moreover, it is resulted from circumstance or chance. So, this slide is a lot about what I talked about in the previous slide, and that Steinbach pretty much makes it clear that it's not worth continuing on a suffering life if that suffering life does not have to basically suffer anymore and she talks about this with a couple of examples and a few definitions here and there but she has a, a strong like rebuttal argument to say that it's not worth carrying on a suffering life basically For my real world example, I included a situation with a woman who has breast cancer. And in this example, it would be reasonable for a doctor to give ordinary care by giving the best and highest success rate of options for treatment to the woman. Otherwise, extraordinary care would take place and that the doctor would issue an incorrect treatment or show signs of no hope for recovery or treatment at all in this specific example. So just like the cancer example I talked about earlier, extraordinary care 
for a lot of those situations where people have very late stages of cancer cannot really have much options for treatment. I mean, there can be options for treatment, but the chance of survival and the survival rate is getting lower and lower the more that you prolong a patient with cancer. So that's why I used extraordinary care in this example because, like I said, if a person's in a late stage of cancer, chances are the doctor is going to essentially be realistic and say, look, there's nothing we can really do. We can give you like a ample amount of time to say that you're going to live. But in terms of recovery and treatment, there's not much else that we can do. And ordinary care would be, of course, the best option that the patient would want to hear from because ordinary care just gives the patient more and more hope, which can prolong the patient's life. But it's also typically only going to be used in cases where the patient has the chance of surviving and has the options for um, treatment and recovery options. So for my moral theory connection, I related um, the deontology theory by Immanuel Kant. And this theory follows those who abide by their own universal rules and duties, but do not necessarily consider the outcome. Deontology can also be considered wrong or unacceptable to others based upon the moral theory they follow. For example, here are possible outcomes and possibilities that may help to save one's life but still cannot be achieved due to rule breaking or a given sworn duty. So this deontology theory is essentially saying that if it is the doctor's duty to save one's life but they ultimately cannot save their life. It's not ultimately deemed that the doctor wanted and like purposely just wanted to kill the patient's life. It's more moreover based on the moral theory that it was the doctor's duty to carry out their sworn duty as much as they could to preserve the person's life and not deem to kill the person on purpose and this moral theory can also be based on like the cancer example I just said in the couple of other slides and that is one of the theories that I thought connected mostly to this article of Steinbach's because the, the article talks a lot about whether it is the doctor's fault for killing off a person's life and whether the morals of killing the person is either right or wrong and with this theory it essentially explains that it could be either right or wrong but there's also rules and duties portrayed by the doctor that give the doctor the the essential reasoning as to why they cannot save or end one's life.